Good morning and welcome all to this webinar. Thank you for participating. Um, we will be recording this webinar live, so you will also receive a link to this webinar after the presentation for sharing. Um, at the end of the webinar, uh, you will uh, receive an evaluation survey and you will help us out a lot if uh, you will fill this in. Um, we have received a number of questions through TopDesk about the announcement that Skype for Business Online will be replaced by Microsoft Teams and what this means for their customers and the Toaster integration with TopDesk. Uh, if you have any questions during the webinar, you can uh, use the live chat. In this webinar, I will tell you more about the basics of Microsoft Teams, the migration path from Skype for Business to Teams, and the integration options that are available. My name is Kenneth van der Wall. Uh, I work at Oswald for over four years now. I live in the middle of the ports of Rotterdam, interested in new technologies and developments, culture, traveling the world, sports, and within my role, uh, responsible for collaboration with TopDesk. Based on subjects we've got from TopDesk, I will discuss the following topics in this webinar. Uh, first of all, the collaboration between Ask Roger and TopDesk, and where we are now with Toaster and our WhatsApp integration. Uh, second, the difference between Skype for Business and Teams, calling in Teams and what the migration can do for your organization. And last, the roadmap and how Ask Roger can help you. Uh, Microsoft Teams is evolving on a regular basis. New features and functionalities are added frequently. Um, so we will let you know more about what is available and what is to come. If you have any other questions regarding to Microsoft Teams, you can always send me a personal message. Ask Roger and TopDesk, with both our headquarters based in Delft in the Netherlands, uh, have a long-standing collaboration in which we take care of integration between the communication environment and the available information from TopDesk. Uh, first, this started as a CTI link with different PBX systems and Skype for Business, uh, where we show information about the caller and, for example, open calls within TopDesk. Uh, this CTI link is now known as Toaster and used by multiple TopDesk customers throughout the world. At this moment, we have about 200 customers in 15 different countries just for the toaster. I will show you an example of our TopDesk integration with Skype for Business. Uh, the TopDesk integration is uh, also available uh, already with Microsoft Teams uh, when you use a hybrid environment. So this means that users from the service desk will remain on Skype for Business so that they can see the information from TopDesk and uh, all other users can interact through uh, Microsoft Teams. In this example, uh, a customer uh, on the left side uh, has a question and will ask by phone or Skype for Business uh, for help from the service desk uh, where they are using TopDesk. Uh, the service desk receives a call and will instantly recognize the customer with a toaster. Uh, a small pop-up appears on the right bottom of the screen with information from who's calling. After accepting the call uh, by clicking the phone uh, button or by picking up your phone, for example, uh, you will go to a bigger screen in which we have an overlook of uh, more information. In the overview screen, we have the following features. Uh, first of all, you can see uh, who's calling. Uh, in this case, this is my name, Kenneth van der Wal, uh, working at Ask Roger Delft. Um, and we have some basic information about uh, the caller. Uh, second of all, you can uh, uh, open a caller card uh, into TopDesk or a uh, profile card. Uh, and we see all uh, open calls, major calls and recently closed calls. Uh, also, by clicking on a specific call, uh, you will go to the ticket into TopDesk. Uh, on the left side, we have a timeline. Uh, in the timeline, you can see with whom that person um, was in contact before. Uh, so, for example, uh, I called yesterday, talked to someone on the service desk, uh, but I didn't remember his name. I can now ask, uh, did you have contact, for example, with Erwin? Uh, and I can see that information. Uh, you can see uh, if that was a call or, for example, a chat or maybe a missed call, uh, all in the timeline. And all call data that is available uh, will be shown. 
Uh, then uh, we also have some small uh, extra features uh, for call control, for example, for uh, transferring a call or creating a callback note. Nowadays, we also build this kind of integration with an FAQ bot, uh, web chat, WhatsApp, and of course, with Teams. For example, with our uh, WhatsApp integration, um, you can create your own channel and add your own members. This can be done for the sales department, but of course, also for your service desk. Uh, I will show you an example of our WhatsApp integration with uh, uh, Topdesk and Teams. Uh, so on the left side, you will see the WhatsApp conversation and in the right side, the Teams conversation um, in uh, which uh, Richard uh, will ask a question to the service desk uh, and it will be answered within the team. So you can uh, uh, see Richard uh, asking a question. The question appears in Teams. You can assign the case to a specific uh, colleague who knows more about uh, uh, the case or maybe had contact before with, uh, with Richard. You can see the case assigned at the moment. And we can see extra information from uh, Topdesk because we recognize the number before. Um, for a Richard question, uh, um, Marije uh, helps with some extra information. This is not shown to the uh, WhatsApp uh, yet. All conversations are visible for the team members and the customer will only see the line which are mentioned with at social Roger. So you can also ask a question within the team for extra information about a specific case. And uh, we can also uh, open the caller card or create a new incident directly into Topdesk. And when the conversation is done, you will uh, close the case. Uh, the information uh, is also uh, is always available uh, when you need to go uh, back to the info. If you want us to do a live demo about the solution, uh, please contact us. And now I want to tell you more about uh, the difference between uh, Skype for Business and Teams. Um, it will be the basics um, and what the difference is between the applications. If you want more info about specific features, just let me know. Skype for Business is a unified communications platform which provides uh, functionalities such as chat, audio, video, a presence, desktop sharing, and web conferencing. Uh, Skype for Business is a perfect replacement for a traditional PBX and can also be used for voice over IP. Uh, at the moment, we are using Skype for Business with telephony uh, and Topdesk is using it as well. Uh, Microsoft Teams expands on that capabilities by bringing together files, chats, and apps in an integrated application. These functionalities enables organizations to move faster and collaborate more efficiently. Because of the richest set of experience offered in Teams, it replaces Skype for Business as the core communication client for Office 365. Teams enables local and remote workers to collaborate on content in real time across different devices, including uh, the service hub, laptops, and mobile devices. Within each team, users can create different channels to organize their communications by topic. Each channel can include a couple of users or scale to thousands of users. The guest access feature in Microsoft Teams allows users to invite people outside their organizations to join internal channels for messaging, meetings, and file sharing. This helps to facilitate project management and is also used in our organization for all top desk implementations with our customers. A big difference within Teams is that we can integrate all kinds of applications. This to make collaboration a more productive and better experience. Uh, you can create websites, services, uh, native platform applications, uh, which run outside the Microsoft Teams user experience and call the Teams API to automate uh, team scenarios. We can also provide all kinds of calling uh, functionalities with Teams. Um, let me show you a short video about it so you get more feeling with it.
Uh, I now want to tell you more about uh, uh, migration possibilities from Skype for Business to Teams. Uh, let me uh, start with the, the best approach for implementing Teams depends on your organization. Uh, for example, do you already use Teams in coexistence with Skype for Business? Uh, then you can start the first migration path. Uh, we can already plan the first upgrade uh, for using Teams only. Um, and eventually you will uh, have Teams only uh, within the organization. Everybody will be using Teams and Skype for Business is phased out. If you are using Skype for Business uh, only, or if you're using additional PBX, then we can start a second path by introducing teams for a specific group in the organization and deploy teams after a pilot in coexistence with Skype for Business. After the pilot and uh, um, after the organization uh, is used to work with teams, then you can plan the upgrade to teams only. The correct method for implementing Teams is also based on your wishes and needs. Uh, so for example, do you have worldwide offices? Do you need local support? Uh, when do you need to renew your telecom and SIP contracts? Uh, or do you have complex voice requirements? Uh, we can look at the entire process uh, and your future dreams in uh, terms of customer contact through our workshops, uh, which are based on a road to success model uh, in collaboration with Microsoft. Uh, and I want to tell you more about the roadmap and I'll uh, ask what can help you. Uh, the following applications, features and functionalities are already available right now in Teams. Uh, so from Ask Roger, we provide the uh, FAQ bot, the WhatsApp uh, integration that we showed earlier uh, and a web, uh, web chat integration with Teams. Uh, and all these uh, integrations uh, we can combine with TopDesk. Uh, we can also provide call center functionalities if needed. Uh, such as call recording, real-time translation, IVR, uh, supervisor, maybe a reception attendant, uh, reporting, wallboards, and many more. For Microsoft, we can use direct routing for connecting your own SIP provider to enable calling for Office 365 users in Teams on a global scale. Uh, and with Microsoft Calling, you can use features such as call port, call queues, auto attendant, uh, consultative call transfers, uh, and maybe music on hold. Uh, we can also connect it uh, with uh, third-party systems such as and intercoms. Uh, we've included a link uh, below uh, for more information from uh, Microsoft Direct. On the roadmap for Teams, we have the top desk calling integration, um, which uh, uh, is depending on the uh, launching of the Teams Voice platform by Microsoft. Uh, and uh, another nice feature from Microsoft is that you will have a team Skype consumer chat and calling uh, interrupt. So uh, in this case, the teams and Skype for consumer users are able to chat and make voice over IP calls with each other. Uh, also the link below for more information about uh, the roadmap from Microsoft directly. Ask Roger is the expert in Microsoft Teams. Uh, we ensure that employees work together uh, efficiently and effectively, internal and external. We provide various workshops to achieve a successful implementation with Teams. Uh, in addition, we believe it's important to pay attention to the right adoption strategy for your employees. Ask Roger put Teams at the center of its contact, uh, customer contact strategy. We enrich teams with links for to, and for example, a FAQ bot and WhatsApp. We can help you to define business use cases for teams, take care of the training and adoption, and advise on devices such as headsets, the service hub, and other video conference solutions for your organization. For the Netherlands, we can also implement calling solutions for teams. Uh, in addition, we are happy to help you to get more out of the environment through our continued improvement program. This is how we create happy employees and customers. And especially for the deaf people around here, uh, if you're interested in more info regarding to Teams, uh, you can sign up for our event. Uh, and we are really happy to uh, welcome you in Delft. Uh, so you can click on the AMELDA button uh, below. 
this was the webinar about uh, Microsoft Teams, uh, Skype for Business, uh, and uh, the migration uh, path. Uh, thank you for your time. And if you have any requests or questions about the possibilities with Teams, calling, integration, and top desk, uh, please let us know. <laughs>